I gotta say, from the outside, guaranteed rate field looks really nice. Opened up in 1991. My name is Eric and this is the Get Me Out of Here vlog. Today I'm at Guaranteed Rate Field here on the south side of Chicago, Armour Square neighborhood to be exact. And this is the first time I've been here to a White Sox game. You can see I'm adorning my Cubs jersey because this is not your typical White Sox game. This is the Chicago Crosstown Classic where the rivalry between the Cubs and the White Sox face off. I am here adorning my Cubs gear it at guaranteed rate field today should be crazy we'll see if white Sox fans live up to the hype i'm excited to see this team because i was actually at the field of dreams a week before the white Sox played it was one of the greatest games i've ever seen on tv so i'm here to cheer on the cubs but i'm also rooting for the white Sox too i love this team they're fun to watch and they've got a great chance to go all the way this year whereas the cubs not so much because they sold off some of my favorite players but that being said, let's go check this out. I'll show you what the stadium looks like today. Let's go. All right, well, made it through security inside the stadium. I'm going up an escalator system here. I've got nose bleeder seats today. I'm way up on the 500s, so almost the very top of the stadium. I've heard that if you get any seats up in the 500s, you're not allowed to walk around the rest of the park here. So I, I'm gonna try to walk around anyway. We'll see what happens. Um, but right now I'm just checked in, trying to find my seats and trying to find some friends that are joining me here for the game as well today. I came fashionably late, so the game has already started. First pitch has already been thrown about 10 minutes ago. I've heard that Guaranteed Rate Field has the highest stadium seats of any Major League Baseball diamond. So these are going to be the highest that I've ever been, at least in a baseball game. You can see I've taken three escalators and I'm still nowhere near the top. For those of you that are too afraid to venture to the south side, here is a fantastic view of the south side of Chicago. Got some train cars, some churches off in the distance. Look at this view of the Chicago skyline though. Check this out. This is one thing Wrigley does not have that Guaranteed Rate does. What an epic view of the skyline there in Chicago. I got my first angry White Sox fan. No, it was all tongue in cheek. It's all good. That's part of the rivalry. It's part of the fun. I'm from Iowa originally. I feel like Iowa Hawkeye and Iowa State fans probably get into it worse than Cubs and White Sox fans do, but who knows? The day's not over yet. Maybe I will get some cups of beer thrown at me. If that's the case, I'm going to drink all of it. What is a Comiskey dog? I'm going to have to try a Comiskey dog before the day's out. Found the food courts. All right, found my area 518 way up at the top and check out this view look at that view what a beautiful park there's the famous exploding scoreboard right there every time they hit a home run they shoot fireworks off of that Got Hendricks pitching, the professor, one of the few members still left from the World Series winning team of the Cubs. And the Sox just got a home run off of him. Not looking good. It is 95 degrees out, it is humid. I'm gonna get some hydration. Time to get a beer here at Guaranteed Rate Field. Oh yeah, look at those good Vienna beef, Chicago style hot dogs being grilled up. 
Best in the world, right there, Vienna beef. Best in the world. Okay, I don't know what the name of this stand is. Brew Midwest Brew, maybe? I don't know, but this is the best beer stand on the upper deck. Best beer stand on the upper level. So they are really strict here. If you get tickets in the 500 sections, you cannot go to any other lower portion of this ballpark, which totally sucks. I guess that means you can get cheap tickets and enjoy it up above, but if you want to see some of the more unique things at the park, you have to purchase the more expensive tickets to do so. So I learned something today. I don't know if I'll be able to sneak down after the game is over, but they've got some cool features, you know, throughout the park that I wanted to share and show off, but unfortunately, I can't, unless I want to buy another ticket, and I really don't want to spend another $100 to do that. Maybe after a couple of beers, I'll change my mind. I don't know. All right, man, you're, you got a cup jersey on. You got to show what you can do. He's winding up. Nice. That was actually pretty good. A little low, a little outside, but close enough. I would have swung at that. Oh, wild and outside. All right, cheers, everyone. Go Cubs. Look at this view. All right, well, we found our seats. This is a great view, by the way. I didn't know what to expect. These are nosebleeders. They're way up high. But check out that view. It's perfect. No obstructions. Cheers, boys! Let's go, Cubby! All right, I don't know anybody in the Cubs team anymore. They sold them all off. Let's go, Schwindel! Schwing, Schwing, Schwindel! Right there is the Goose Island Beer Company. I wanted to go and get a couple beers there, but they won't let me down there today because I got seats up here on the 500 section. Dang, next time I'm here, I will be sure to get lower seats so I can explore some of these cool beer gardens that they have on the lower levels. Over there, you can see they've got a big pendant tower of all the American League championships that the White Sox have had. Last time was 2005 when they won the World Series. That was actually the last White Sox game I've been to. It wasn't here, it was in Minneapolis at the Twins Old Stadium. <laughs> Home run, Schwindel! I totally missed it! Dang! You watch him run across the plate. There are no fireworks happening now. I probably should have mentioned that this is game three of the second series. The White Sox swept the Cubs at Wrigley earlier this year. The White Sox won the first game, the Cubs won the second game this time around, and now it is game three. So whoever wins this one wins the second series. This Crosstown Classic, the rivalry between the Cubs and the White Sox happens twice a year. They have two series, one series that's played at Wrigleyville and one that's played here at Guaranteed Rate oh. Field. I still call this Comiskey though. To me, this is always Comiskey. All right, Patrick Wisdom up on the plate. He's new with the Cubs. It's his birthday weekend, and he's actually hit more home runs this year than any other Cubs player. Let's see if he can do it again. Duffy, another name I'm not too familiar with. All right, Jason Hayward, let's go Jay Hay. One of the few players left from the 2016 World Series win on the Cubs. Let's do this, Jay Hay, let's do this. Ooh, 
Westside. Bill Veek was a longtime owner and manager of the White Sox, and he's the one that created this exploding scoreboard here. You can see the pinwheels on top. That is a trademark from old Comiskey Field. Every time a player of the White Sox hits a home run, they shoot fireworks out of that scoreboard. That is really awesome. All right, Jay Hay, the single. And the Cubs are waking up in the top of the fourth. Look at Southpaw! Check it out, it's Southpaw, the White Sox mascot. I have no idea what he is. He's like a green monster. Oh! Oh! Hey! Dang! Dang, that's a good throw. Man, we almost had that. You guys almost had that shirt. No! Oh. Go Hey, what do you say? All right, let's go, Professor. Let's teach this better a lesson. And I think I see Tony La Russa, who is a legendary coach. He's now back with the White Sox. He's the only coach that has ever been inducted in the Hall of Fame that is back actively coaching again. He won several World Series with the Oakland Athletics and also the St. Louis Cardinals. And he coached for the White Sox in the 1980s. He's back. Came out of retirement. See ya. And it could be their year. Yes, nice catch. Keep missing these hits. Foul ball. Ah, oh, come on, he hit himself in the foot. So I consider myself a good luck charm for the White Sox, even though I'm a Cubs fan. The first baseball game I ever saw was in 2005 in Minneapolis. I saw the Twins play the White Sox. The Twins won the game, but the White Sox went on to win the World Series that year, and I have not seen the White Sox play since. And they have a phenomenal team this year. They have a good chance to go all the way. So, that being said, I have a feeling that because I'm seeing the White Sox play for the first time since 05, they're going to win the World Series again this year. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I am not anti-White Sox, unless they're playing the Cubs. And maybe the Royals. I like the KC Royals too. They're my number two team. Hey guys, I'm empty. We need more beer. We need to refill. Hey, go Sox! We need to refill. Hey, don't say that. Stop saying that. Go Cubs! Go Cubs! Stop filming. I'm removing you from my videos. How dare you? K Balaki! We're all confused. Dang it, Jose Abreu just hit a double. Crowd's going wild. Left. Come on, Cubs, for the love of God. All right, we got Ian Happ up at the plate. The happening. Butt scratcher. Butt scratcher. Butt scratcher. Ah, oh, they, they struck about half. Half strikes out all the time. We got Patrick Wisdom up at the plate. It's his birthday weekend, and Cease is still pitching for the Sox. Dang, struck him out. Not looking good for the Cubs. Oh wait, no, he's not struck. He didn't strike out. 
Beautiful. Get down. All right. He's still going. Double. Patrick Wisdom. Keeping it alive. They're reviewing the play. Definitely looked like a foul ball hit by Wisdom, so he's back at the plate again. Which means he's got more time to hit a home run. Come on, Wisdom, let's do this. Let's seize the day. I was gonna say cease the day, that's the pitcher, but seize, seize the day. Bad joke, bad joke, I don't know. Struck him out. That's how this day's going. One thing I noticed is not only can you see the Chicago skyline peeking through right there, but if you look across the field, you can actually see Lake Michigan. You can get a glimpse of Lake Michigan, that blue array. Maybe if I stand up, you can see it a little better. But there's like a blue aura way over there. That is Lake Michigan. And then for whatever reason, the Sox Stadium faces the southeast side. Time for a Comiskey dog at Guaranteed Rate Field. Hey, get out of my shot. What are you doing? What are you doing to Sean? What are you, hey. <laughs> Check this out, Chicago style hot dogs. These are the Comiskey dogs. We're gonna enjoy these right in front of the most epic skyline view of the city. Seriously, you guys from the north side, you are completely missing out. They, they are hiding this here. This is the most epic skyline view I have ever seen of the city here a guaranteed rate field. All right, I don't know if I can, uh, let me see if I can do this with one hand. This is gonna be messy. How you liking that, Deshaun? This is awesome, wonderful. It's his first Major League Baseball game in the USA, in Canada. Oh, yeah. that's, that's the only places they play him at, for now. All right, I'm gonna try to, try to one hand this thing, man. Look, look at this, all right, this is a Comiskey dog. It's like a Chicago style hot dog. Mm. Oh yeah. They got all. That was my basket. They got all the classic Chicago dog toppings on this Vienna beef. What am I saying? Yeah, Vienna beef. Hmm. We're eating these right by this beautiful view of the downtown area. Look at that. Beautiful view of the skyline. Oh my god. I mean, I love Wrigleyville, don't get me wrong, but this is one of the most epic views of the city of Chicago I have ever seen. But right, I gotta set pickles. Mm. Nobody makes them hot dogs like Chicago. Nobody. I started eating hot dogs after coming to the Chicago. Yeah. It's wonderful. I love it. I didn't eat beef before that. But now you do. I do just because of hot dogs. Just because of Chicago. You heard it here, folks. You heard it here. I'm making such a mess. Mm. All right. We got two more innings to push through. Cubs are getting their butts kicked. I think it's 12 to 1 right now. We're in a rebuilding year. I'm wearing my Baez jersey right now. I'm still sad. I am still sad about the trades that happened a few weeks ago, but I'm happy to see the White Sox doing well. Hey, world, this was the, hey, this was the Field of Dreams team right here. Cubs will be there next year though. All right, we'll go back in. We're gonna go back in. Let's go get the Sox. Hey, hey, oh gosh. Stop saying that. I can do it. All right, favorite beer stand. Let's go, Nishan. Lead the way, lead the way. Go, 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 go. 
Kids trolling my videos here. What the hell, man? Oh, <laughs> so Ortega just hit a double. We got Schwindle up. What inning is this? This is the top of the eighth. We got two innings left. Hey, down in front. Ooh. All right, let's go, Ian Hap. Please, just do anything but strike out. Come on, Hap! Come on, Hap! What happened? Is there a fight? We're waiting for this. The Chicago Classic. Crosstown Classic at its best. They're getting into it! Oh, here we go. We got your typical south side versus north side fight. <laughs> I was waiting for this. There it is, your classic. There it is, your crosstown classic fight. The north side versus the south side. Cups being thrown. Oh! Dang! Punches being thrown. I can't zoom in more than this. Damn, that's intense. You see punches? Yeah, yeah. There were punches being thrown. There was cups of beer being tossed. Salt is cups. You know, I haven't seen any snake cups today. I'm kind of surprised by that. It's happening again. Another fight. Oh, Crosstown Classic! Northsiders and Southsiders getting into it. Dang! These are people that pay money for tickets. 
These are people down below, like they pay, they probably paid like $120 for those seats at they're least. And they're fighting. And they're fighting. Yep. I'm sure Barstool Sports will have a better photo than me on that one. I have no idea what's going on over there, but there were punches being thrown, there was beer being spilled. Classic Chicago Crosstown rivalry. I'd love to see this. I don't know. Cubs are getting their butts kicked, so I don't know what they're arguing about. It's not like it's a close game. All right, we got Zavala. Having a great rookie season. He hits a lot of home runs. He hit three home runs in one game earlier this season for the White Sox. I don't want to see him do it again, but at this point, the Cubs are down 12 to 1. It doesn't even matter. I want to see a home run. Let's see this. Mazavala. Striked out. They got Zavala. That is the end of the eighth inning. We got one inning left. So I'm a little disappointed. I thought that Tim Anderson would play today. He's the leader and yeah. such a rock star for the White Sox. He was the one that hit the winning home run at the Field of Dreams, but he is, for whatever reason, not playing today. And same with the Cubs, Wilson Contreras, who in my opinion is the greatest catcher in baseball right now, is not playing today either. So two things I'm a little bummed about, but either way, it's still great to see a Cubs and White Sox game this year. It's the first baseball game I've been to in two years since pre-pandemic, so this is awesome. All right, top of the ninth inning. If the Cubs can't turn this around, <laughs> and if they do, it'd be the greatest comeback in sports history. But uh, we've got two more outs and game is over. If the Cubs can't do this, then the Sox win. They won't even have to hit again. And the chance start. Hermosillo is up the bat. I don't even know who this is. All right, home run. I want to see one more home run. Since I've missed most of them today. Okay. This could be the end of the game. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go Cubs! Greatest Let's comeback go. ever! Throwing beer at people. We're being such a South Sider. <laughs> now you're throwing beer at them. <laughs> so apparently, this is the highest baseball stadium in all of Major League Baseball. We're at the very top of the 500s. And they've got this protection here for good reason. You, don't, you would not want to fall from here. Yeah, you would not want to fall. Can't really get a good view of that, but that, you know, for good reason. Here's a view from the very top of the 500 deck. A lot of copywritten music. Actually, that was my window. So this is the view from the very top of the 500 deck. The top of the arena here, the stadium, the diamond, whatever you want to call it. One last look of the pinwheels above the exploding scoreboard. And that is going to do it today. The White Sox kick the crap out of the Cubs. I hate to say it, but I just saw it with my own eyes. Take a look at this view from the top. Just walking up the steps here. It is steep. It is a little steep. It's hard to vlog and walk at the same time, but look at that. What a great day. I know we got our butts kicked, but it was well worth it. What a great experience here at Guaranteed Great Field. The old Comiskey. Pretty cool seeing these green stadium seats. They got the baseball symbols there on the numbers. The original Comiskey Field had green seats. 
And the crews waste no time. They're back out cleaning up the field. The remnants of another successful game. Well, not the ending that I wanted to see, but probably the most obvious outcome. The Cubs obviously rebuilding after they traded away Baez, Rizzo, and Bryant. And the White Sox are having probably the best season they've had since they won the World Series in 2005. So congratulations to the White Sox. It was great to see the, the actual dream team, the Field of Dreams team in action. My first time here at Guaranteed Rate Field. I don't know, do most people call it Guaranteed Rate Field or is it US Cellular still or do they still call it Comiskey? I've always called it Comiskey. I'm not really sure. Do you call it Comiskey or Guaranteed Rate? Whatever, whatever, the three, whatever it is. I still call it Comiskey, but a great overall experience here at Comiskey Field, guaranteed rate, US Cellular, whatever you want to call it. It's been fun, a great experience here on the south side of Chicago, and I look forward to seeing another game at Wrigley, and hopefully we're a better team next year. But for now, this is Eric with the Get Me Out of Here vlog. It's time for me to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Game finished just in time. There is a rainstorm coming this way. It's probably hitting the suburbs as we speak. Can, hear, can feel the wind. But yeah, what an incredible experience here at Comiskey. Well, anytime she goes away, away.